on I need a hair more time to talk and I'm gonna do a um, little Christmas project using our little uh, critters cozy critters and these are come like a bundle so they're like chubbies and they come with little uh, hats and a scarf so I turn mine into an uh, ornament so I put a uh, little uh, what you call eyes I just um, put that in there really slow so that you don't crack uh, the wood okay now the first thing that I want to do is not get these mixed up but I want to sand this a little bit um, so that it looks a little bit aged you can paint them if you want like a, a brighter white these are one-time uses okay so I just want to age the I might try this instead Okay, so I sanded all four pieces. I just want to wipe all that dust off. Okay, so that's my bird. Okay, now what I'm going to do is wax this because you want to protect your uh, stencil. So I'm going to just outline everything on here with the, I have uh, black velvet, I have uh, bark, cherry, and uh, fresh. So I'm going to outline everything and then I will just do the hat and the scarf and then it'd be easier to um, glue it on top of the printed uh, design. So I'm going to do that. Now, if you're new to Club Couture and uh, you want more ideas and inspiration, go ahead and comment hashtag VIP for my free private group and I'll send you a link. Now, you want to write back on here so you don't get the front and the back mixed up because our stencils are reusable. And I'm also going to fuzz this. So I want to do my um, penguin first because he looks so cute. So he's going to be all black. So what I'll have to do is after I outline everything, I'm going to wash it so that um, it's clean for when I do the smaller pieces. So my little penguin will be all in black. I will have to do the, the string blue just because um, the scarf, I'm going to do the hat for him in um, blue. So I will do my string. And then the rest will be all in black. Like my hat's going to be uh, blue. But again, I'm only going to do that once um, I have it up here. Um, I have to think there for a second. You really have to think about what your, um, your outlines are going to be before you chalk.
And this is perfect because the stomach will be already in white. Now these little um, cozy uh, critters, they do stand on its own. Like I just decided to turn mine into an ornament. Make sure I got it all. So there you have my little penguin. Okay, and the other black one that I wanted to do was um, my raccoon. So I'm gonna move that up here. And I'm just gonna put the backer sheet on there just so I don't get um, that mixed up with, um, get paste everywhere. So I'm gonna place my raccoon. It's so easy to place. Now he's gonna be all black because my raccoon will have the scarf and um, the hat for that one. And the other ones will be in brown. You know, this would be really cute on um, gift tags. I'm just going to peel this off really slow just to make sure that I got it all. So cute. Okay. Now I'm going to do my owl and the bear uh, with um, bark. So I'm just going to close that for a minute. So you're going to need it again. No, the owl is so cute. They're all cute, I gotta say. I'm just gonna turn it just a little bit. Again, this is so easy to line. Now the hat, it doesn't have a hat. So I'm going to do it in red. So I will do the hat first. These multi-tools are really, really good to have. Now, if you want a monthly subscription at your door um, for $21.99 US and $27 uh, Canadian, uh, you can go ahead and comment hashtag club and I'll send you a link. You get uh, the transfer, the surface, and also uh, the chopable uh, paste or ink, whatever the project is. And this month it's called um, gum, gum Drop uh, Buttons, which is a cute little gingerbread. So that's for the month of October. I'm just going to put this on this side. It's probably going to be easier than me reaching. And if you're a Perks member, you get a 30% um, discount on all your shopping every time. So it's $20 a month. They give it right back for uh, $20 credit. So it's basically free. You'll get 30% uh, off. You'll belong to a community. And uh, also um, inside uh, promotion and uh, information. So you can go ahead and comment hashtag perks. You'll also get a discount on your Club Couture. Okay, so there's my hat. My little owl. Let's do the bear. Now the bear does have a hat and a scarf. This looks really cute just the way it is without um, 
um, the little accessories. Like if you want to use the stencil again, um, obviously it won't have the pieces, but you can. No, he's going to be all brown. Now you can paint the bear and then um, re replace your transfer as well. So I'm gonna wash. I'm gonna um, wash my stencil so that I can use it again. Let me just close my lids and let me show you how to clean your stencil. So I have a water basin on the side there. I need to make sure I don't get any water on those. I have my little board eraser and I'm going to wipe the front of this and the back. Okay, I'm just going to take a wipe. Sometimes um, I put in a water basin just until I um, I'm able to clean it right away and um, because otherwise um, I usually run this underneath my sink uh, with my board eraser and then I don't need to use uh, wipes I'm just using disinfectant wipes so that I can get all this cleaned up so I can use it again because it goes so much better when you're running it in the sink. Okay, I'm going to clean that again one more time. Okay, now I'm going to take my uh, fuzz cloth and I'm going to clean or dry it, I mean, sorry. I'm going to put that inside and uh, just dry it. So you have one side of this cloth is to fuzz your stencils and the other side um, is to dry. Okay, now let's do the little penguin. So of course I'm going to do, um, whoops. It doesn't have much to hold, uh, just so you know. Um, oh, I was going to do blue. Okay, so I'm doing blue for the hat. So I'm going to hold on to this because it doesn't have much to stick on. It's just a little pieces of wood. Now I'm going to be careful for the ears because I'm going to redo my ears in black. And I think a multi tool would be probably better for this step. I love these. These are must have in your crafts um, section. Okay, and.
I'm running low on the black, but I do have a backup. This, you can probably have just painted on this too without putting the uh, stencil on top, but this goes a little faster. So cute, look at that. Now we're gonna let that dry. Um, okay, so this is the bear stencil back on there. Okay, now I want um, I want my scarf to be blue and the hat to be red. There, like this. So I'm just going to hold on to this. I'm going to leave um, the pompon white. And you guys, this is like using, um, almost like if you're coloring. Anybody could do this. Actually, maybe I should put this beautiful uh, blue for the pom pom. I'm not sure yet. Oops, I got some red in my blue. I was being very careful and I totally missed, but that's okay. I'll have a little bit of uh, red in there. Okay. I'm going to try that. Okay, now um, this one here is for my owl. The owl is going to have, what color did I do? The owl is going to have a blue scarf as well. Okay, I think, no, I'm missing one. I have a hat here and my little skirt. So I have to go the right way. Let's put, oops. Okay, there's my scarf. I think I'll do that first because it's two pieces and it's a little harder to hold on to while I do the other one. It's got cute little polka dots. Okay, and my hats. Now let's see. I have the hat the right way. Um, I think I have it here. There we go. I think this is the right way. Yes.
Okay, my hat's going to be red. And I might do, uh, I'm going to do the pom-pom here. I'm going to do um, like the red, but I might put a little bit of white in, uh, blue in there. So let me just get some blue on here. And I'm going to just mix those two. See how that works. Okay, I'm going to re-put this in my water basin. I'm going to dry everything up. Oh, right now. Okay, so all my pieces are dry. It comes with these little sticky strips. Sometimes I have such a hard time to uh, take them off. So this is for my raccoon. This bird. So it makes it look a little 3D. And you guys, if you don't want it on there, just leave it the way it is. I'm going to put uh, one or two for this one. If you do scrapbooking, you can use like little blue dots as well. That'll hold it. two for him. Get this. So I have this really nice one. It's got polka dots. They're just white. Oh, it's got nice um, silver on one side and polka dots on the other side. That's perfect. Now it is a little wider for me to get through there. Gotta leave it long enough for it to um, to um, make a knot at the end. Oh, I like this. Like I said, it stands on its own as well. I think I'm going to do the two browns with this one and uh, two black um, ones with the other one. So that way it's got different. different. Nice thick 
ribbon. I think I got the, there's a pack at um, Michael's. I think it was like a, you know, when you get the packs of five, um, I got them, I believe it might have been last year or this year in the spring actually. When they actually get rid of their winter stuff. It's the best time to buy uh, stuff is like uh, for next year's when they go on sale. I got it. I didn't even need the pliers. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. We have four little critters, all cute and ready to hang in the tree or a garland. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope that may inspires you to do one. And uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.